Hello and welcome to another Mindset Monday. I am Jordan Wentz and I wanna thank you so much for joining me on this very special day. This is a Labor Day edition and I'm very excited about what we're getting into today. So today is all about honoring labor workers and the people that built this country and you and your families. And we know you work so hard for your money and uh, I wanna to take today to honor you and I wanna say thank you, and you deserve this long extended weekend. So what I'd love to do today is to honor yourself, you can honor yourself if you like, or someone that you love. And specifically what I'm talking about is someone that you know who is an incredibly hard worker, someone who you look up to, who set the tone for you as far as your work ethic and the way that you want to live your life and, and your code of etiquette and all of those things. I know you have somebody like that that you look up to and I want to ask you to think about who that is. For me, that is my, my mom, of course. My mom is such a hard worker and I would say my grandparents because they worked just nonstop. My grandma had one job. I think she started there when she was 16 and she basically built this business from the ground up and she had just moved from Germany. So she was a transplant in America after she married my grandfather and she was with that company forever and basically helped them build into what they are today, which is an amazing, incredible, really successful business. And to have one job your entire life, that is really, really incredible. And I remember my, my grandmother, when I used to go see her at work, I would hang out up there sometimes because I I just loved it. I just loved the atmosphere and people would come, come in and she knew every single person by name. And I just thought, how incredible, literally, she just knew. I don't even know how many hundreds of customers they have, but it was incredible. And I would also say that my grandpa is somebody that I, that I super look up to. I mean, at one point he had two, I, I, I basically all, since I've known him, he had two or more jobs to support the family. And, you know, they grew up very poor. They didn't have uh, any money. I think uh, I remember a story my grandpa told me about him selling their car to send my grandmother back to Germany to visit her family, which is like, oh, that like, that's, that's real, you know, and that's real. And there are so many people that are that are, that are living paycheck to paycheck and that are working so, so hard. And I'm getting emotional because, because it's true. And I know there are so many people struggling to make ends meet. And I just wanna let you all know that you've got this, we've got this. And I wanna thank you for your work and your effort. And your work doesn't go unnoticed. It is, it is a, a labor of love and I hope that you can find the joy in the work that you're doing and know that it is providing something for somebody else or it is helping somebody else in some way. And, and that is awesome. And the way that you work is admirable. People are looking up to you. Your children are watching you. Your grandchildren are watching you. Your friends' children are watching you and they're seeing what you do and they're looking up to you and you're setting an example and you are setting the tone whether you work at a factory or whether you've started your own business it doesn't matter you are you are setting the tone and you are setting a really wonderful example for to pave the way for people to live the lives they want and have the means that they would like that said i would love for you to Think of somebody who you really want to honor, someone that you love, someone that you look up to on this Labor Day, who you're like, oh, thank you for all of your work because you've made my life a better place. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for your work to make my life better. Isn't that such a selfless thing? So I want you to think about that person and we're going to do this freestyle flow. I'm going to put on a jam, okay? And I just want you to embody this person, see them, feel them, feel your love for them, feel your appreciation and your gratitude for them, okay? You can close your eyes, you can keep them open, you can cry your heart out, you can laugh, whatever you would like, anything goes, okay? You don't have to dance it, I just want you to move and I want you to carry this person with you and the love you've got for them, okay? You ready to try this? Let's go. It's time to honor those that you love. Pick one person, pick a few people that you love and appreciate, that you wanna thank for their contribution to the world, 
to your life. And I'm gonna show you how you can honor them through movement. All right? So feel this. Mm, it feels nice, doesn't it? Mm, 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 mm. Now think about this person. How thankful are you? How gra grateful? Yeah. And move it up. Hey. They made your life so much better. Hey. yourself and how lovely you are and how hard you work and how much you do for the world, for your community, for your friends, for your family. Oh, woo, it's a lot of work, isn't it? But doesn't it feel good to know you're making such a difference? Such a difference. Let me see. Let me see how proud you are. special feeling to be able to honor yourself and those you love with movement. Isn't that nice? For more on how movement can change your world and totally transform your life, check out my program, Move Maker. It covers everything from self-love to wellness, to self-care, to dancing, to confidence, to mm, heart opening awesomeness. Hope you join us in Move Maker and I will see you very soon for our next Mindset Monday. Take care.